You know, people come to me all the time and they say, Bill, I'm with you. I saw your movie. We're right here. You know, I don't believe in that crazy biblical nonsense. Just the central story. <laughs> oh, you mean the stupidest part? <laughs> I mean, come on. God had a son. I mean, time out, right? There, God had a son? He's powerful beyond all imagination. He exists in a realm above time and space, but he has kids? I mean, it is one of the silliest stories I've ever heard, but I don't mean to offend. But, you know, I, I look, I get it. Jesus was a cool guy with the hippie philosophy and the long walks on the water that turned into fishing trips with the guys. I, you know, I'm down with all that, but, you know, it, it doesn't sound crazy, that story to us, because we're used to it. It's been around for 2,000 years. To really understand how whack religion is, you have to look at the new religions, which for this country is Mormons and Scientologists, who I think should merge and make Mormontology. <laughs> But that's where you really see it, because, for example, every religion has a creation myth. You know what the Scientology <laughs> creation myth is? They think that 12 trillion years ago, <laughs> a time frame no scientists believe exists, but okay. 12 trillion years ago, a galactic warrior named Xenu was looking to depopulate his planet, so he took all the souls to Earth, buried them under volcanoes, and blew them up later with atom bombs. <laughs> now, just for a moment, imagine the balls <laughs> it takes to stand in front of another human being <laughs> and tell them what happened 12 trillion years ago. And I don't mean in general terms, like the planets were cooling. I mean he knows the dude's name. <laughs> Zenu. Oh, yeah, that cat. <laughs> From 12 trillion? Yes, of course, Zenu. I mean, if someone tells you this story, the only logical response is to say, well, I guess anything's possible and then backpedal while maintaining a smile and <laughs> dialing 911 in your pocket, because that's fucking crazy. So, you know, <laughs> Jesus, Zeno, either you believe in ghosts or you don't. People say, what's the harm with religion? It's mass delusion. Anytime there's mass delusion, bad things do follow.